So those of us who look at uh, fasting, uh, intermittent fasting, prolonged fasting, many of us have seen uh, images like this. This is an image um, looking at uh, biological creatures ranging from as simple as a yeast uh, to lab rats and mice up to humans. For periodic fasting with yeast, you get increased lifespan and uh, increased stress resistance. With mice, you get uh, decreased uh, fat, uh, improved cognition um, and learning abilities, increased lifespan. <clears throat> With humans, again, most of us are not surprised to see decrease in diabetes and cardiovascular disease and cognition. However, <clears throat> how, uh, when's the last time you saw some solid research on decreased cancer associated with intermittent fasting? Well, there is some. It was pub published in JAMA in 2016, and I'll cover that in just a very strong uh, study um, looking at breast cancer and intermittent um, fasting period. Before I cover that, though, a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E I'm a physician. I started in, uh, preventive, uh, in preventive medicine after starting out as an ER doc. When you work in the ER as a doc, you get really frustrated with the early death and disability uh, that people bring into the emergency room. So <clears throat> at that time, I was concerned about it making a bureaucrat out, out of me, but whether, whether that was going to be the case or not, I committed to learning prevention. I went to Johns Hopkins to do that. Uh, I did well enough to end up running the program in uh, uh, postgraduate preventive education, uh, postgraduate medicine. The, um, <clears throat> so what's the study that I'm talking about, and oh, what's this channel about? This channel is all about prevention. It's the medicine, the medications, and especially, three times more important than the medications, the lifestyle associated with decreasing heart attack, stroke, dementia, early death, and disability. This is very much down that, uh, down that area of looking at science, looking at medicine, and looking at uh, impacts, how to prevent it. And it's, again, very much down that same pathway of saying, it's lifestyle, guys. Okay, so the title of this study is Prolonged Nightly Fasting and Breast Cancer Prognosis. This was done, uh, it was part of the Women's Healthy Living and Eating, or Eating and uh, Living study. That was, the data collection was uh, back in 95 to about 07. This was a, uh, a post-collection analysis in October of 2015, where, May through October of 2015, where they looked at women in this group that had cancers, breast cancers, and went back and followed their dietary uh, surveys, which they filled out years one and four. Uh, there were 2,400 2,413 women with breast cancer in this study. And they looked at recurrence, they looked at new primary can uh, breast cancers, and they looked at uh, survival. They saw a significant decrease associated with increased uh, fasting period. In fact, for uh, those that fasted less than 13 hours per day, um, they had an increased death rate, decreased survival, increased uh, recurrence. For every two hours of um, increase in that, in that fasting rate, you had a decrease in hemoglobin A1C and an in increase in sleep and um, increased survival rate, decreased recurrence, and improved glucose regulation. So again, <clears throat> we're not just talking about heart attack and stroke here. We're talking about cancer. And for those of you, and there's a lot of you out there, who are more afraid of cancer than you are a heart attack or stroke or dementia, um, it hits cancer as well. Thank you for your interest.